All right, good evening, my friends. So there was apparently a drone strike at the Kremlin today. So Russian news, Ukraine, maybe, totally attempted to hit the Kremlin with drones overnight in Putin assassination attempt. So here's a video of it if you want to see it. Let's blow it up. Hopefully this wasn't turning into an epic disaster. And okay, so hit play. It's going to come from up here, kind of come in frame up here, and there it is. And boom. Okay. That didn't look like it was very powerful at all. What do I know? I've seen fireworks that are stronger than that. So, uh, this is Gateway Pundit, if I didn't mention it. This is the task. We'll take it for what it's worth. Uh, Russian News reported on Wednesday that Ukraine, maybe, <laughs> attempted to hit the Kremlin overnight with a drone strike and an assassination attempt of Vladimir Putin. The video was released by Russian News earlier this morning. Putin was allegedly not hurt in the attempted bombing. Ukraine is expected to launch its spring offensive in the coming weeks, which is going to be an epic fucking disaster. So, Kiev, maybe, made an attempt to hit the Kremlin with drones, but the attack was successfully repulsed. The press service of the Russian president said on Wednesday, and again, I don't care about this war, I'm not a Putin apologist, I don't want it to escalate, and it's escalating, my friends, but you never know how what the, it's going to be a tip for tat uh, thing until global thermonuclear war. So, uh, Kiev, the Kiev regime made an attempt to strike with an unmanned aerial vehicle on the Kremlin residence of the president of the Russian Federation. I highly doubt that Putin stays there, but you never know. According to the press service of the head of state, two unmanned aerial vehicles were aimed at the Kremlin as a result of timely action taken by the military and special services with the use of radar warfare systems. The devices were put out of action. The press service emphasized that due to their fall and scattering of fragments on the territory of the Kremlin, there were no victims and no damage. And they should collect those uh, fragments and mail them back to the country of origin and say, we know it was you. <clears throat> Maybe in, it's in the United States. Russian President Vladimir Putin was not injured. He continues to work as usual. So over here, it's strange the story came out on May 2nd. And then the next day, this happened. Ukrainian banker offers cash for drone terror in Russia. So days before a failed drone assassination targeting Putin. That's not, that's not even this one, by the way. Ukrainian banking baron Vladimir Yatsenko offered a $500,000 bounty to any weapon maker able to land a drone in the Red Square during Moscow's upcoming Victory Day Parade. It's May 9th, I believe. And on April 23rd, a Ukrainian drone laden with 30 Canadian NATO made C4 explosive block crash near Rivnevo Industrial Park in Moscow. Ukraine-based operators deployed the 37-pound arsenal in a failed bid to assassinate President Vladimir Putin, who was scheduled to visit Rednevo that day. It failed to hit its target, crashing 12 miles from its intended destination. But Russian media reported several three other similar unmanned aircrafts in the surrounding areas. By the time the Canadian manufactured bombs arrived in Moscow, the government in Ottawa had provided Kiev with $6 billion worth of aid to support Ukraine's fight against the Russian military. So it's a UJ... 22, we're going to look at it here in a second, but first, this is the escalation I'm talking about. Former President Dmitry Medvedev probably will be the president again. Russia has no choice but to annihilate Zelensky following the drone attack and attempted assassination of Vladimir Putin. Now, it could have been Ukraine. It also could have been Russia. It also could have been the United States or any of the other NATO countries that are most likely operating in the area. Fog of war, my friends. So Russian officials are reporting label, labeling Zelensky, the cocksucker, in Ukraine's the Kiev terrorist regime and are ready to strike Zelensky's home following reports that Ukraine's assassin attempted to assassinate Vladimir Putin. So Secretary of State Anthony Blinken Kazarian, who infamously lied about Russia, said he, quote, cannot validate these claims and would take anything coming out of the Kremlin with a very large shaker of salt. So, we reported that already. So, Zero Hedge tweeted, Blinken can't in any way validate reports that drone hit Kremlin. He needs 51 former intel officials' fake opinions first. Yeah. 
So that's basically Blinken's treasonous scheme to assemble the 51 Intel leaders to sign the report stating that the lie that Hunter Biden's laptop was Russian disinformation. I said it in October of 2020 that it was real. And I took a chance investigating it. It was a very dubious Chinese or Taiwanese server I was on. The Intel leaders all lied. Yeah, the media knew it was a lie. So why the fuck would we believe them now? So anyway, this is the this is the Ukraine Euchre Jet UJ twenty two airborne unmanned aircraft system, which I believe is what was used uh, today earlier today. So its range is four hundred ninety seven miles. Fuck the metric system. Uh, 497 miles. So this is this is Moscow up here. You know, we know our geography. Uh, Kharkiv to Moscow is about 450 miles. So you're kind of pushing it there. Kind of pushing it. And if you're loading it up with explosives, it's probably going to cut its range down. But an area in the northeast here can easily reach Moscow with a payload, my friends. So again, I, I don't I don't want to discount that it was the Ukrainians. It might have been. And don't believe that Russia is going to be not disingenuous about things. I mean, they may want to escalate it, even though they've had every opportunity to put two in the past, but never an excuse, I guess. So this is Newsweek, and this is from December of 2022, and this is woefully inaccurate woefully inaccurate. I don't know who I don't know who's researching this shit for you, but it took me five minutes to prove you wrong. So this is a Turkish Bayraktar TB2. This is what it looks like. Ukraine's not throwing these away on kamikaze strikes, my friends. These are valuable pieces uh, because they can actually deliver missiles so and they can carry a decent payload. And they can, they can fly pretty damn fast, too. So, switchblade drones. These are American, by the way. So, when all, the United States authorized a bunch of money and security assistance, they probably reauthorized like $3 billion today. It seems like it's every fucking day nowadays. But, uh, hundreds of the drones. There are switchblade 300s and switchblade 600s. So, switchblade 300 is a very short-range drone. Hits targets at 6 miles. And it can fly for 15 minutes. The Switchblade 600 is probably its larger targets, like tanks or armored vehicles. It weighs about 50 pounds. It can fly for 40 minutes or a range of 25 miles. So most likely it was not one of these. Again, unless we have, or Ukraine has, special forces operating in the area. And the Phoenix Ghost Drones. This is the most bizarre statement I've ever heard. This is saying words that don't mean anything. Saying a bunch of shit that doesn't mean anything. The Pentagon spokesperson John Kirby said, when announcing the delivery of these Phoenix Ghost drones, they have similar yet distinct capabilities to the Switchblade drones. So they're uh, designed for tactical operations, blah, 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 blah. I think it's still a pretty short range. Uh, the DJI Mavic 3 also can fly a distance of 19 miles and fly for about 46 minutes. But Newsweek, you didn't do your homework. General Atomics MQ-1C Gray Eagles. Allegedly, Ukraine has four of these. They would be absolutely batshit crazy to use these as kamikazes. Why? Because you can fire missiles from these things. These are basically upgraded Predator drones. Predator drones. And Obama loved killing people with... Uh, loved killing brown people with Predator drones. It's one of his favorite fucking things to do. So, uh, let's take a look at this. Wikipedia, it's not really... Yeah, four Gray Eagle drones to Ukraine... Uh, June 1st, 2022, the Beijing Biden plans to, quote, sell four Gray Eagle drones to Ukraine. That's basically pushing money to General Atomics Corporation just to bribe them. Each, ca each capable of carrying Hellfire missiles? No, it's capable of carrying four Hellfires and eight Stingers. Dumbass Wikipedia people. And the current, again, they'd be out of their fucking mind to use these as... Uh, as kamikazes, and then they failed. Because, yeah, these things can, yeah, missiles. Four, Hellfire, eight, Stinger. So, this is just usual wiki, Wikipedia quality, my friends. So, yeah, don't want this to escalate, but it's escalating. 
So we'll see what happens next. You know, it doesn't just go straight to global thermonuclear war. It takes a lot of steps to get there. And there's a lot of shit that's going on right now, my friends, in case you didn't know. Title 42 ends, I think, next week. And we are, the United States is probably going to be invaded by 800,000 to over 1 million people, mostly of military-age males. And, of course, banks are failing apparently left and right. I think Pac Bell is the next one on the radar. Pac Bell Bank Corp, I believe, so pay attention there, too. We're in for a wild, I think we're in for a wild fucking summer, man. And I don't really feel like living through global thermonuclear war. So that's about it. That's all we're going to do. Thanks for watching. Pick up some non-perishable food and God bless.